Hi guys, uh, today I want to talk about a uh, hat or a cap or what you consider it, consider it a baseball cap or a trucker hat, okay? There are so many varieties and of course there's a trend whereby people like to leave that gold sticker on and uh, that's supposed to be cool. That's kind of interesting to me because you know most of the time when you leave your uh, price sticker or whatever sticker of your um, fashion product or clothing product on your uh, on yourself when you're walking around your friends gonna make fun of you for you know sort of what are you doing man why why is the label still there but apparently it's become a trend i guess this is similar to the mc hammer type of pants with the very low remember them the low groin hanging uh, kind of a thingy very wide uh, hip area uh, kind of a tailoring and then it tapers towards the bottom and then he goes you can't touch these you know those those old timers might remember mc hammer one of the famous um stars in uh, us uh, uh, can we consider him hip hop you know um yeah a hip hop kind of a pop slash hip hop kind of a musician okay so uh, fashion is interesting you know um fashion versus utility all these kind of things uh, of course um, i've been thinking about getting a hat for a while but there are pros and cons of it the thing about hat is you know if you got a very strong wind blowing it might just fly off you might leave it on a table or somewhere and forget about it when you walk away uh, it can feel very warm sometimes in your head and so on but the benefit of a hat is that sometimes you just want you know some kind of protection against heavy uh, sun uh, beating down on you or even some light rain it can offer you some protection and sometimes it also to me sometimes i feel that um it can narrow your field of vision somewhat sometimes when you want to be more introspective or when you want to be more like you know uh, in thought so a cap sort of helps me to you know the people who are putting on a thinking hat cap maybe that's where the thing originated from like when you're wearing a cap your field of vision narrows a bit and it's kind of uh, to me at least kind of uh, uh, nice to sit and think about things with that thing uh, that kind of uh, vibe and all that so i got this the website the original american uh, buck knives website says it, this accessory of theirs uh, i have the main thing is knives of course but this thing cost about 21 22 us dollars but where i got it from my place my area they charged us dollar 45 there about for it but i sort of like the look of it the, the the style of it so i got it right i don't like buy things that often and i i been looking at caps for quite a while i i saw the classic new york hat baseball caps you know um in the mall uh and they come in various designs now and everything and i saw a bunch of um american sports uh caps you know with all the funky alphabets of various sports teams you know atlanta and you know all those things um but uh, nothing really caught my fancy um and a lot of the caps some of the whether expensive or cheap the ones that i saw like for the, for example i saw a nice uh, motorbike cap with you know ducati suzuki yamaha all those things but the uh, back was they didn't have this mesh you know and why this mesh is sort of uh, utilitarian and sort of useful besides some some might look at as a fashion but for me it's utilitarian because if you live in hot areas in a hot environment hot climate this is great for breathability your your hair is inside you know so you don't feel so warm so it performs both the function of somewhat protecting uh, you against the hot sun and as well as giving you some breathability right when you wear it so the utilitarian aspect is there whereas a cap which is totally closed then you can become very warm inside you know like sweaty hair and all that and then there's uh, decent size hole here you can see on top and that is also quite nice it's not just for uh, cosmetics you know some caps have just there's no hole literally it's just like a patch on top so this one has uh, a bit of a hole there and that's really good the construction seems quite reasonable okay uh, there's the word r here r means there's this inside you see there's this uh, uh, what is that uh, re uh, richardson richardson style so richardson are they the contract manufacturer for buck knives i'm not sure the the uh, hat nazis or hat aficionados or hat you know those who are really really into hat might be able to give more details about these kind of uh, stuff okay um, yeah hat hate sounds interesting you know <laughs> hat and hate okay at this back part you got this kind of uh, this format of a way to adjust the size uh, i'm fine with that some of course some go for buckle and various mechanisms but this uses this type of uh, 
clasping kind of a thing right so you can see from even from here you can see the two holes right you can see through the wall so the holes are really proper holes and the mesh is good so the build quality is quite decent and so i guess uh, i'm i'm quite satisfied because the price is not the cheapest uh, definitely uh, and uh, some some are very expensive just for the brand but utility wise quality wise there's not so much there's just you're paying for the brand but this one it's overall i think i i like like how the the whole thing sort of uh, you know uh, is put together i like the camo thing going on and then the the, the writing the colors the color contrast i like the whole the whole setup okay so i like the design i like everything okay so that's uh, my uh, initial thoughts maybe uh, i i did wear it for a while driving and all that uh, it's it's okay um maybe a, a slightly slightly big compared to my head but you know it's what it is and uh, this is just like a more of a broad style of uh, Uh, you know the front part of it and it's not very curved it's relatively straight see some of them sell pre-curved and all that and then there are so so, so many so called methods of how you going to uh, what the what's the word for it um break in your cap or sort of bend it for me i'm not so fussy about those things i guess i don't mind just leaving it like this it should be all right i think okay so um any head experts or cap experts if you want to comment about anything i missed out or anything i should know uh, please uh, go ahead share the knowledge in the comment sections Uh, I'm sure everybody will appreciate okay the thing and uh, later let's see if I have if I have a chance to get more shots of this cap I will and also for the experiences using this cap I will share with you guys uh, for now that's it my brief review or discussion about this uh, buck knives hat I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of fun wearing it I just hope I don't lose it or forget about it when I bring it uh, and wear it uh, in various places okay all right guys with that uh, i say bye bye i don't know you can see or not because i'm taking a picture of myself uh hopefully it looks quite okay right with that i say bye bye see you guys in the next one